in this video we will solve one problem that is find i of t in the below circuit so you have one voltage source its value is 3 u of t and two henry inductance four ohm resistor and initial current is already given that is i of 0 minus is 5 ampere and i of t is the current passing through this resistance okay so what we will do now first we will use kvl to write a using kvl we will write equation for this circuit so what is that 3 u of t is equal to voltage across inductor or you can write minus 3 u of t this side but if you take on take to the other side it will become plus 3 u of t uh, 2 into so you see that what is the voltage across inductance formula is l di by dt l here 2 so you multiply the 2 by di by dt plus voltage across resistor that is simply 4 into i okay so we have got this equation so now if we take laplace transform of on both side in this equation so this becomes taking laplace transform on both sides of this equation so this becomes we know that u of t is nothing but 1 by s equal to 2 di by dt just now we have seen this uh, what is the laplace transform of a differentiate time differentiation so that is 2 u outside and inside it is s into i of s i of s minus i of 0 minus you just see that formula di by dt is s into laplace transform of this i of s minus i of 0 minus so this we derived in the last video so that plus 4 into i of s 4 into i of s now you solve for this i of s okay so that is 3 by um, s into 2 into s i of s minus i of 0 minus i of 0 minus is given in the problem that is 5 4 into i of s okay so now um, you solve this one so this becomes 3 by s 5 to the 10 so i will take this side 10 and i of s you keep one side so i of s uh, into 2s plus 4 you will get okay so now if you further solve this you get an expression for i of s so i of s is equal to so 1.5 into s into s plus 2 plus 5 divided by s plus 2 you will get again using partial fraction this you have to separate it will be a by s plus b by s plus 2 so that you do and find value for a and b i will directly write here you just solve that one okay so it becomes 0.75 divided by s and minus another value is 0.75 divided by s plus 2 and this value is 5 by s plus 2 so this if you further solve this become 0.75 divided by s plus 4.25 divided by s plus 2 so if you take now inverse laplace transform this i of t is equal to 0 0.75 0 0.75 u of t plus 4.25 into e power minus 2t u of t you will get the same problem the same problem you could have solved using differential equation method there you assume a solution and do that so what we followed in the rl and rc circuit chapter 
so that also you can do that you will get the same result here you will get the same result this one we can easily solve using laplace transform and you will get the same result here okay 